Welcome back to another Perro Gato Reviews. Well, today we're taking a look at the Spectacular Spider-Man anime series, Suction Cut Web Spider-Man. First of all, I'd just like to thank anyone who actually watches our reviews. And if you're not purposely trying to look at them, then hmm, at least you looked at them anyway. Today we'll be looking at this Spider-Man that, that I got from eBay that I searched for for many years. At, more like three, but still. I am Felipe, el perro. And I am David the kitty. Just a little backstory. I got this from, as I said, eBay, and it, how foolish it was not to get these figures when they came out in stores. Obviously, there was like many, many of them back when the series was still around, and then it got canceled. Again, one of the worst decisions in the world. It was my favorite show, and still is. Catchy theme song, right, David? Mhm. Mm now we'll be looking to look at this figure later. Let's look at the box packaging really quickly. We got a nice picture of Spider-Man, very show accurate, on the side. We got a Spider-Man on the tub suction cup. A nice sticker of a DVD, which we own. Well, not specifically, but like the, well, the entire first season. A nice picture of Spider-Man on the side. Always they like the packaging. Don't know what the shape is, but it's very nice. On the back, a Spider-Man on his web. You can see Electro, Spider-Man, Lizard, and Black Suit. And let's see, if you want to read it, we'll just come over here. It's basically talking about Spider-Man's origin again. Unless you're a fast reader, you might have missed that, so too bad. Let's get to the figure. It's very nice, very sure accurate. Wait, let me see if we can make it darker than it's showing up on the camera. Oh, well. Right now it looks a bit lighter, but it's a dark blue that really looks just like in the packaging because you didn't see it. Here it is again. Here it is for the again. There. Wait. Darn it. Well, it's showing up light on the camera, but let's see if I can fix that. No? Oh well. Anyway, as you can see, he has his webbing is also detailed inside and inside the grooves with black lining. Or at least, what do you call those things? I just call, I'll just call it black lightning, like I said before. Unfortunately, the spider, unlike the Ultimate Spider-Man, he is actually just sti like uh, painted on there or stickered or whatever it is you want to call it. Not a big deal. It's very nice. I always did like that logo. He has, like you can feel the spiders, like spider webs across his costume are pretty nicely sculpted on there. I never understood why they could do this on this figure, but not on a movie figure like the Six Inch Amazing Spider-Man. One like that was like there's no texture or anything, but it, it's covered all by his muscles and you can feel them. Nice texture on the back. You can see how his, the back of his spider is sculpted very nicely. Different from the ultimate version, a lot smaller. Like the legs aren't spiky. And you see the back of the figure kind of a pear shaped head. I do like that head on the, on the hands. One is open while the other one is flipping. Both of them open, which. You, if you have the 600 mix spider you can use the webs to make them hold on to it very nicely. On the articulation, he has the ball joint in the head that goes side to side very nicely. Up and down just a bit. Ball joint in the arms, they have a ratchety joint to let you go up and down. Uh, no bicep, one point at the elbow. Wrist rotation, but don't go in and out. Ab crunch and kind of a twist, mostly for the ab crunch. Waist swivel, uh, ball jointed hips, swings. What's it called? Swivels at the hip, double jointed knees, no calf rotation, and feet pivot up and down, and no ankle pivot. I guess before the ankle pivot was even invented in America, or at least in Hasbro. Now, for the accessories that came with the figure, if, if you might have seen the name of it, or at least in case you forgot, it's Suction Cup Spider Man. And it comes with a little web that is being reused again for the Ultimate Spider Man figures. In case you forgot, I'll be right back. Right, you can see in the back of the figure right there, it's just being reused. And not a bad thing, at least, at least it comes with accessories, that's something people complain. But if you don't want that, here's Spider-Man. Very nicely, again, it is, uh, what is this, Series 4, I guess you would call it, I don't know. But a re-release Spider-Man because the first one did look nothing like the show. So I'm very happy they did this. If you're still looking for the figure, I guess there's some still on eBay, I'm not sure. Amazon, I guess, is selling them too. I don't know what for what price. Hope you enjoyed this review. I'm Perro. And I'm David the Kitty. We'll see you in another review soon. Don't forget to keep watching more videos, okay?